investigation continues tonight in an officer-involved shooting in North Carolina. A state trooper shot and killed an unarmed deaf man. The family of victim Daniel Harris believes he would still be alive if the trooper knew the proper way to approach a hearing-impaired person. And new at 10, our Jesse Knutson met with advocates working to make sure something like that situation doesn't happen here. Jesse? Our lives are filled with sights and sounds. But for some, those sounds don't exist. Um, I was born deaf uh, due to a fever. Mike Helms is one of the many with no hearing who live in Middle Tennessee. Uh, and to empower them in the process of And using a translator, he spoke to us about the relationship between the deaf community and police. I think it's a very sad situation, and I'm sorry what happened in North Carolina that could have been prevented. Mike believes there needs to be a greater understanding that deaf people may not hear sirens or commands, and that they may have trouble communicating. I just think it's a matter of getting accurate resources and law enforcement improving their understanding. Their Solutions knowledge. include having the deaf community use special license plates or stickers to signify their deaf, or even using a pen and paper to communicate. But the cooperation has to go both ways. And one is that I'm an officer here, I'm going to help you and you help me and we can make sure we build our community stronger. At the Hendersonville Police Department, officers recognized the need to be able to communicate with the deaf community years ago. That's why they instituted special training for each class of new officers, where they're taught basic sign language and how to deal with members of the deaf community. Together, we started understanding, we started communicating. Those small gestures have made a big impact, improving trust and cooperation and improving the community as a whole by showing that people truly do care. Every time I come to work, I hope to impact somebody's life in a positive manner. The hope is by the end of the year, the Hendersonville Police Department will be able to use an iPad to speak with members of the deaf community through an interpreter live. That will further increase the ability for them to communicate. Live in the newsroom, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5.